Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with another layout using the June Hip Kit. So I'm starting off with a piece of watercolor paper that I have just put a very, very thin layer of gesso on. And I have these photographs from the beach last year, and I decided to use a couple of manila shipping tags. Um, these are things you can find at like an office supply store, or you can get them off of Etsy. They're very inexpensive, and I really love to use them. So I've cut these photos pretty small, and I really wanted to use that little acetate frame that you see on the top tag, and that is from the Crepe Paper poolside set of frames that came in the kit. And then I'm also just using a couple of pattern papers and one of the Project Life cards to mount the photo. So now I'm going to add some Distress Ink, and I'm using the same technique that I did last week, except that I'm mixing my own color. So I've taken, I believe it's tumbled glass and evergreen bow, and I've smushed them onto my packaging, added some water, but now I'm taking a paintbrush and mixing those colors together. And then I'm going to um, pat that down onto the paper. And now I did gesso this, so it's going to have a different effect than it did like on the craft paper. And that's one of the things I really like about this technique is that depending on what kind of paper you put it on and if it's gessoed or not and if you mix your own color, it looks different, but you still get that kind of watercolory effect. It's just really, really fun. Now, in hindsight, I would have used a bigger piece of packaging because you can see that sometimes it leaves like a straight line. So I have to keep going over it to make sure I don't get that straight line mark because then it doesn't look real. You know, when you watercolor, you don't end up with a straight line. So I'm just doing that. And I'm going to dry this really well. Normally, I would let it air dry and let the gesso air dry. It really helps from the paper buckling, but I didn't have time I needed to get it done, so I did air dry, and it did buckle. So what I ended up doing is I took a piece of clear acetate from, I think it's from Heidi Swap, and I glued the layout, or I, you know, I backed the layout onto that piece of acetate, and it really flattened it out. Perfectly. Okay, so now I'm moving on to putting the layouts together. So I've, like I said, I've got these two shipping tags and I'm just going to put my photograph down and this little piece of that awesome Simple Stories paper, I cut with a postage stamp like punch. And I had already done that for another layout so I just had it kind of laying around. So now I'm going to take this little acetate frame and I'm just going to staple it onto the top of the tag, onto the tag. And I have gold staples in my stapler, and I have a video of how to make gold staples. So I'll try to remember to put a link below to that video because it's super fun. And then I'm just going to take some of the ephemera pieces, and like I cut this one in half because I wasn't going to use it all, and stick those behind the layout. I mean behind the tag. And then I just love that acetate pineapple that yellow one it is so cute and if you if you see you'll probably see in the close-ups but you might be able to see in the video right now my the screen I'm looking at the video is really small but in full size you might be able to see there's they're on it's my brother and his girlfriend in the water and there's a yellow boogie board out there or they're on a yellow boogie board so it does pull that yellow in nicely which I really like so I just glued that down with some multi matte ranger multi matte medium which is awesome because it doesn't show through the acetate. Now that paper, that blue and yellow and orange paper, is half of one of the 4x6 Project Life cards from the Project Life kit. And the other half of it has like a little flamingo on it. And I just cut it into two 3x4. So I can still use the other side, but this side I really wanted to use to uh, mount that photograph. So this layout, surprisingly for me, is not very patterned paper heavy. Normally layouts that I make have lots of pattern paper on them and this one focuses more on the embellishments which I really like because it's just a kind of a change, something different and I don't use a 4x4 or a 4x6 picture which is also different and putting two pictures on one layout is a little bit different too. So I've just layered that um, flower piece and the little thing that says summer and then I just cut the top off of that ice cream cone because it, the ephemera pack comes with two ice cream cones that have or snow cones, whatever, that have glitter on the top. And I just, I don't have kids, so I don't really see myself like using those, or at least not both of them. So I just decided that I wanted that 
kind of gold glittery half circle with a little bit of teal on it. So I just sacrificed it. And at least, I, you know, it got onto the uh, onto a project instead of just sitting in the packaging forever because I wouldn't have been able to use it. So I'm just sticking down this little flower and then I'm going to put the little summer um, ephemera piece on some foam adhesive. And I'm just using the leftover, like all the dots out of that are gone. I've used them already. I'm just using the extra packaging of the foam adhesive, which I really like. That's why I like the foam that comes this way, even though it's not as quick to deal with because you have to pull it out of there. Um, I think you get more for your money because you can use all the leftover packaging. So I'm just going to stick that down on top of the flower. And I'm going to look through my, this is all of the ephemera from the poolside collection. I'm just going to kind of rifle through there and see if I can find anything else I want to use. And I ended up finding that little piece of acetate and the two little um, gold glitter plus signs or crosses. And now I'm taking the thickers. I believe these are from the Project Life kit. And I'm going to put the word vacation down. And then I'm going to add a bunch of the little word or little alphabet stickers from the poolside 6x12 paper pad. So I'm just using my T-square ruler here to kind of line them up, not perfectly. But I'm attempting to. So this layout did not take very long at all. Um, I fast forward at times two, so the total footage is about 18 minutes. And I don't believe I added anything after I stopped filming. I have a very bad tendency of finishing a light, filming the process and finishing it. And before I go, right before I go to photograph it, which is usually a couple of days later, I add stuff to it. And then I have to go back in the video and explain everything I added. But, you know, that happens. I just, I need to be better about turning the camera on before I start adding things. So I'm just going to glue down that acetate with that multi-matte. Actually, I glue everything down with that multi-matte medium. It's like the best adhesive. I love it. I need to get another bottle. I just have this little tiny one, and it's almost gone because I use it so much. And then in the top right-hand corner, I don't think you can see it in the video, but I did add a little sticker from the sticker sheet that says Splish Splash, and then I think I added something else that I can't remember, which you'll see in the final pictures. And now I'm going to, I'm going to add a couple more stickers from this sticker sheet and that will be all so thanks guys so much for watching and make sure to check out the hip kit club website and if you're a new subscriber if you decide to subscribe then use the code kate and you will get a free pattern paper add-on so there's a little um graphic at the end that explains all that i'll have links below to everything thanks again guys so much for watching and if you like this video and like process videos or hip kit videos or any of these videos, then please make sure to give me a thumbs up. It just lets YouTube know that you like my video, and when you search for hip kit, I have a better chance of popping up with a new video. Thanks, guys. Bye.